Well, hi guys, it's that time. That's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. Today, I wanna to show you practically in a, in a way that you can understand what I'm gonna to teach today. So we're gonna do a little classroom experiment, okay? I am in uh, uh, the Bible over in 1 Thessalonians 5.23, and this is where it tells us that we're three parts, that we're spirit, soul, and body. And I'm just going to read it, and then I'm going to do my little classroom experiment. Here we go. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, here goes our little... Uh, classroom teaching that I, I like to do this i've never done it on camera okay but I, I like to do this this is our body you see this this is a container okay it holds something that's the whole reason it was created right is for it to hold something there was a purpose for this okay the next thing i want to show you is in this glass is clear water that's our spirit okay Depending on what is put into us, in our soul, that's our mind, will, emotion, that makes up also our character, our personality, our self-will, and all of that. Depending on what has been put in will determine what your soul is like. You know, some of us have a really good soul because good things have been put in it. We're positive, we're upbeat and all of that stuff. And then there's other people that have a completely different soul because they've had negative things put in their lives and so their soul has a different color or it, it looks different, okay? It has a different outlook, okay? But let me show you this. We have our container and our spirit and soul rest in this container, okay? I wanna show you something right quick all sickness is well let me say it like this all death is is small little injections of sickness okay little injections of sickness that before long we get a little drip here and there but you keep getting enough sickness and forgive me cause my knife is I, I usually like to use an ice pick but if we get enough sickness it can't hold it anymore and our container literally cannot hold our spirit and soul. So what happens is our spirit and soul leave that container, that body, and it goes to be with the Lord because he is spirit. So our spirit and soul go to be with Jesus. Or if you're not a born-again Christian, then there's nowhere left for you to go other than Anyway, we're not going to talk about that today. It's not a good place, okay? That's called going to hell because that's who you're the most like. If you're evil and mean, you're going to go where evil, mean people are, evil, mean spirits. And if you're a good spirit, you're going to go be with a good spirit. That's really all it boils down to, guys. Okay, I don't want to teach on that today. The next thing I want to go over, though, is I want to show you where in uh, Third John... And there's only one chapter to this uh, little letter that he wrote. So it's 3 John, and I am in verse 2. And it says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as and according to as your soul prospers. So here's what I want to talk about today is it depends on how well your soul is prospering as to how healthy you are. Okay. We talked about our soul being what's mixed in here. See that red water? The more that my mind is renewed to the Word of God and matches up to what Jesus tells us to live like, it'll change colors. So how did we make this change colors to look more like Jesus? Let me read you a little Bible first real quick. It says in John, this is the gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14. And it says, the word became flesh and he dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten son of the father. He was full of grace and truth. This verse is talking about Jesus. The word of God, the word became flesh. I want to show you this. So when we start reading the Word of God, we become more like Jesus. And I want to show you how this works. 
You see how dirty this is, or it's a different color than, okay. For me to change the way this looks, okay, for me to change my soul, for it to line up with what Jesus looks like and what the Bible wants me to be, I got to pour some Jesus up in here, and I've got to get my body and my soul. Okay, watch this. Look how clear this is beginning to get. That's because I poured Jesus over in here. And as I continue to pour the Word of God in me, I will become more and more and more clear-minded, clear-thinking, and become just like Jesus. When I become clear-minded, okay, see how my soul is prospering because I look more like Jesus, I'm clear? Okay, when my soul starts clearing up and I get all that junk out of me, all the stuff that people have said to me, all the stuff that I have willfully watched on TV, listened to, the stuff I have willfully done and put in my head, when I start getting rid of all of that and I, quit, and I have to make a decision of what I'm going to put in me to change my soul so it looks like Jesus and it becomes clear-minded and clear-thinking, that is when my body will have a good soul living in it. And did you know when my soul gets right and I start looking and acting just like Jesus, sickness can't poke holes in me anymore, okay? Because I put on the shield of faith. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my little teaching and I pray that it has blessed you and I'll see you right here tomorrow on Facebook. Bye-bye.